Why are State Department officials speaking at college forums? Yeah. Why? This is a gig I would I would take. Yeah. In fact, I do. I speak at colleges. If I would do the gig, the State Department should not be doing the gig. I'm, that should be the rule. See, you bring up a good point. I think Crowley, I'll probably comment anom anonymously at the Huffington Post as well. Because right. he's, he, he right. I mean, let, I, I want right. to point out, remember this thing he said? This is what he said after uh, the Frankfurt uh, tragedy about Tucson. So even if it's somebody acting alone, that's not a terrorist attack? I'm just trying to understand why, why you can't make that clear. Well, I mean, I mean, I, you know, was you know, for example, was the was the shooting of uh, of Congresswoman Gabby Giffords uh, a terrorist attack? I mean, you you have to the look at the evidence. You have to look at the evidence and look at the motivation. And then you make a judgment, uh, and and that is a process, as far as I know, that is ongoing. Oh, good Lord. He's a HuffPost yeah. blogger. I think yeah. that was the, I think that was the that was actually the straw. That broke the camel's back. That's an old kind of oh, cliche that we use. That. But that Bill, I want to bring you in this. You often uh, uh, wear a smock to bed. Do you consider that torture? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I wanted to your point about yeah. how you need to be a bad person to be forcibly stripped. I completely yeah. disagree with that. <laughs> you and anyone awesome can get in person. contact with me if they would like to forcibly strip this clothing off my person. Right. I would also add that the real loser in this is me. Yeah. I had just recently started following PJ Crowley on Twitter. Uh, his stuff is legendary. Let me read you this one. My camera will do a great job as my successor at State. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Are you nice. kidding me? Nice. This I, stuff I comes out every day, people. you got to follow. I, I thought PJ work used to be a lot funnier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's, no, there's, there's, a, uh, there's, there's an interesting point here, too, is, is that they, they questioned uh, Obama about Crowley's statements. Mm -hmm. And true to form, Obama couldn't even come out mm -hmm. in a decisive way and say, look, the U.S. military is not mistreating Bradley Manning. He couldn't even bring himself out right. and say, you know, forcefully yeah. and put an end to this. Uh, you know, so it, it, that's kind of the bigger story. But, but this also, one, treats this. you know, I was on this show earlier and this guy was saying, isn't it great to have somebody speak his mind? His job isn't to speak his mind. His job is to reflect the opinion of his bosses. Right. If that was, you know, you, 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 every press person knows that. Right. And well, also, to go back to, the, to Obama's defense, he actually thought they were referring to Bradley Cooper. And he was wondering to himself, why would they be torturing the star of The Hanover? Was it really that overrated? Yeah, yeah that is true. That is true. You know what? I think we're going to take a break. Coming oh. up, what's the deal with rice pudding? Up next, we discuss Essie's new book. It's not rice or pudding. The hybrid desserts, ruthless attack on the right. <laughs> yeah, but first, <laughs> what does an Al-Qaeda's women's mag look like? Told the pictorials are smoking. <laughs> Will the women of Saudi be allowed to steer an Audi? Well, on Wednesday, a senior prince questioned the ban on dames driving and said that lifting it would reduce the Islamic Kingdom's dependence on millions of foreign workers. With uprisings across North Africa and the Middle East, the ruling family is feeling pressure to make reforms. And that may mean giving women, oh my God, more freedom if the rulers say, as long as it's for different reasons. According to Prince Alawid, did I say that right? I guess. All right, who cares? <laughs> he doesn't watch. The Saudi society wants fewer foreign laborers, so why the hesitation? I want answers. Some Saudi women are already now getting behind the wheel. I believe we have tape. She's actually shopping for three more just like it. Wow. Yeah, so they, those spinning rims. So they match. Hey, uh, Baker, hey, um, yeah. why is this happening now? Why? Why? Are, they all of a sudden, why? are they all of a sudden understanding that women are equal? Yeah, have you seen women drive? I've always felt that women are far better drivers than oh, yeah. men. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Your that's wife's true. watching. Your wife's a terrific yeah. driver. <laughs> She's a wonderful driver. That's right, that's right. right. Um, answer the question. Yeah, Stop okay, I'm going to answer the question. What the Saudis are doing right now is a reflection of the, the fear that they are feeling within the ruling family. Mm. They are are extremely nervous about what's happening around the Middle East, right. um, a topic which SE and I debated earlier in the yes. show. Uh, <laughs> but they, what, including they, they've paid out citizens, and they've always done this. They, they use their, their enormous uh, oil revenues to tamp down the, yeah. the public dissent. And they've done that successfully for years and years and years. But underlying that, there's always been some concern of the fact that they've got an increasingly young population, mm -hmm. very overeducated and underemployed, 
There's a lot of potential dissent here. And, you know, if, if Saudi tips over, mm -hmm. we got, you know, we think we got a problem right now with some of the things that are going on around the world. We got a real it's problem. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, SC. How can we uh, take a country seriously that mm -hmm. still won't allow women to drive? I almost faked like I meant that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I always love it when long-held religious practices are relaxed for labor concerns. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I mean, for, like fasting at Ramadan, forget that. Let's keep the restaurants open yeah. longer. Yeah. I mean, Allah likes productivity. That's true. He's into that. I think so. No, I mean, as Baker said, this is, this is a, an overture to, I think, the youth population, a more liberal audience. They're saying, look, we're not this bad. We're not that bad. We're interested in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, empty rhetoric. Women should not be allowed to drive. <laughs> 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 Bill, as a sequential hermaphrodite, you're forbidden to drive any kind of machinery. Uh, this must drive you crazy. Well, that's actually, actually you know, he, as a, as a uh, hermaphrodite, I couldn't say the first word, you can drive a hybrid. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did, I did, yes. They're made by my people. <laughs> made, hi hybrids made for hybrids. <laughs> <laughs> and I support that. Uh, how is allowing these monsters of the road to drive <laughs> progress. I agree. This is the one reason I would go to Saudi Arabia. I am against mm -hmm. them being in the restaurants more because okay. goat's head stew is disgusting. Okay. <laughs> but the women drivers thing, I am fine with that. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. I think it's a first good step, even if they're doing it for the wrong reasons. Hopefully, uh, they won't let them vote because that look what happened. Oh, to, yeah. Look what happened yeah. in the United States. Am I right? <laughs> now I'm turning into a hack comedian. I'm joking, of course. Am I wrong in thinking that Woodrow Wilson became president because women were allowed to vote? I think. I I think I'm right on that. Thanks, ladies. History's greatest monster. You know, Way Bill, to go, Ferris. Bill, I can't help but notice that your intern has been joined by uh, a little friend. Yeah, it looks like they're sharing some websites <laughs> oh, yeah. there. Yeah. What's your name, little guy? <laughs> meow, my name is Pixel Excuse Meow. Oh. I belong to Meow Andy Levy Meow. Oh, it's Pixel. It's, it's it. Yeah. Oh, oh. great. And boy, look at little Porch's butt is super tight. He's been walking out. Well, I like how we started out just with a shot up the old cat's address. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Uh, that's my kind of Thanks yeah. for bringing that yeah. up. All right, we got to move on. Oh, do you have a comment on the show? Don't touch him. <laughs> Email us. <laughs> he, he was referring to me. It's red eye at foxnews.com. And to leave a voicemail on my direct line. You know, we do check them. We just haven't been playing them for a while because you know we got lazy. But we are checking them, and I'm going to start answering them live. Live. I will pick up the phone and talk to you uh, at some point. 212-462-5050. We're talking like six weeks from now. And still to come, the halftime report. From TV's Andy Levy, he is a jerk. <laughs> Tonight's Halftime Report is sponsored by dye, that liquid containing a coloring material that can be used to stain fabrics, foods, skins, or other liquids. Thanks, dye.